Hi everyone, this is Miss Titus. I'm here to talk you through your notes on characterization. At this point, you should have a yellow note sheet that are Cornell notes. It should look something like this. So to start, we're gonna fill out the top part of your notes sheet. So for topic and objective, make sure you write characterization. Make sure you're putting your first and last name, your class period, and today's date. For some of you, when you are watching, it is Thursday, September 19th. For others, it is Friday, September 20th, so put the correct date. Your essential question today is how do authors develop characters? As you watch the presentation, you are welcome to write the exact definitions that you see on the slides and that you hear me read. I also invite you to write things in your own words to show your understanding of the information that you are gathering. For most of this video, I'm actually gonna be on the slides and will not give you an example of what your notes should look like, but will direct you and point to which part we are working on. So to start, we are talking about characterization. <coughs> And we've got our essential question. At this point, just take a couple seconds, pause if you need to, to make sure your notes are set up correctly. And we'll jump right in. So on your notes page, we are gonna write the first part on the slide, it's here. It says, characterization is how an author describes or presents a character. So on your notes page, you're gonna write the definition here on these two or three lines. And the definition again is characterization is how an author describes or presents a character. Additional information is the author reveals character traits to help the reader better understand the character. So again, you may copy down exactly what you see, just this first part, or I invite you to put it all in your own words. Next up, we have character traits, and we're going to write the definition here, starting with the word adjectives. You're going to write this definition in your notes on the lines next to the words character traits. So what are character traits? They are adjectives that help describe a character's personality. So we've been working with these all week, especially in your do nows. You chose character traits for yourself, for superheroes, for characters in books and movies that you enjoy. You're also working with character traits in your homework assignment for this week. So those of you that have gotten a head start, you're probably familiar with some of these words or this word bank already. So all of these words, they're examples of character traits. So you don't have to, but I invite you to write a couple of examples in your notes to help you remember what character traits are. So again, they're adjectives that help describe a character's personality. Just a note, you don't have to write anything here, just read along and listen. So sometimes an author will tell you something directly about a character, so the character trait's obvious. The, the author will just give you the character trait. So Miss Starks was happy. Or think about when we were reading Nothing But the Truth the other day, and in the teacher's letter to her sister, she often said things like, Philip is intelligent. That would be a direct character trait. Other times, and most often, the author is going to require you to make inferences about the character. So the author will describe the character in some way, and it's your job to take that information and figure out which character trait goes with the information you have. So what we're going to talk about next is the kinds of information that the author will give you if they're not just directly giving you a word, like in this example. <clears throat> so when you need to make an inference, you got to look a little closer at what the author wrote to figure out which traits go with that character. And we're going to use a little tool called STEAL. So these five letters stand for the types of information that help us make inferences about characters. <clears throat> Feel free to pause the video at this point and make the chart in your notes look exactly like this chart. Or again, we invite you to write in your own words. So in your notes, You've got a chart here with what it stands for and then the definition. That's exactly the chart on my slide. So you will fill in those boxes for each letter. So the S stands for speech. This is what the character says out loud. Look for dialogue or quotation marks. You'll see an example of that in a moment if you're not sure what quotation marks are. T is for thoughts. So what the character thinks about or how the character is feeling. E is effect on others. So this is how other people respond to the character or the reactions of other characters. 
So think about the impression that Philip had made on his English teacher. That would be his effect on another person. A is actions. These are what the character does, how they do things. L is looks, how the character looks or what their appearance is. And again, feel free to pause if you need to, to make your chart match. All right, so let's unpack each letter a little bit more specifically and look at examples. While you don't have to write any examples in your notes, if you can find space on the first page of your notes, not on the back, uh, you may add some of these examples. So again, the S stands for what the character says. So you can ask yourself questions like, what does the character say? How does the character speak? Look for quotation marks that show what the that the character is talking. We call this dialogue. So this symbol right here, that's a quotation mark. So if you see these things in something you're reading, that means somebody is talking. And sometimes we can infer or make an inference about a character based on how they talk. So what is their voice like? What kinds of things are they saying? So in this example, hey, we can have lots of fun at camp this summer. I love being outside. So we might infer based on this person's speech <clears throat> that he or she is positive or optimistic, looking forward to the future. The next letter is T for thinks. So this is what the character thinks about and it's what's revealed through the character's thoughts and feelings. So if you think back to nothing but the truth, that first part, Philip's diary entry, those are all his thoughts. He wasn't actually saying most things out loud. That was all stuff that he was thinking about. So an example would be, I wish it would stop raining. I'm tired of sitting inside. So this person might be frustrated or impatient. We can infer that based on what they're thinking about the weather. This also shows, oh, there we go. The character is not happy about the situation. All right, so effect on others. It's what is revealed through the character's effect on other people. How are other characters feeling, behaving, or reacting uh, in response to the character? So the example, the boy glared at his sister as she ate his dessert. This shows us that the boy's upset about his sister's behavior. We can infer that the sister might be selfish or she's not thinking about others, right? So based on his response, we know the effect that she's having on other people and we can infer what kind of person she is. All right, the A is for action. So this is what does the character do? How does the character behave? So the girl rode the lawnmower through the house and into the garage. This shows us that the girl is not concerned with rules and safety. She's reckless and dangerous. It'd be pretty scary to ride a lawnmower straight through a house and then into the garage. That is not where lawnmowers are meant to be. So we can infer based on this girl's actions that she's reckless or dangerous. And notice that in all these examples, these character traits like reckless or dangerous, they are not written in the example. So we really, really have to pay attention to whichever letter of steel in order to figure out for ourselves what words we might use. <laughs> All right, the last one is L for looks. So it's how the character looks. What do they look like? Well, how do they dress? What is their appearance? Maybe facial expressions. So our example for this one is the little girl left the game with slumped shoulders and a frown on her face. So this shows us that she's not enjoying herself. She's upset. Maybe she's sad or dejected or feeling rejected from something bad that's going on. And we can infer this based on her body language. So her shoulders are slumped over and she's frowning. So this, based on what she looks like, we can figure out that she might be feeling sad or that she's upset. All right, so now you are gonna try your hand at steel by yourself or with a partner at your table. Uh, in a moment, you're going to see four characters or real people, and you're going to choose one of them and then complete the chart on the back of your notes for all the things that this character says, thinks, their effect on others, their actions, and their looks. So this is on the back of your notes here. Don't forget to write in your character. And then after you have completed the activity at the very end, you'll complete the summary box and answer our essential question, how do authors develop characters? So go ahead, choose your character, and get started.